Wells Fargo put out this article right here talking about how untapped home equity could help sustain the American consumer. What Wells Fargo talked about in this report is that essentially Americans are sitting on more home equity than ever before and they're seeing that Americans are struggling with spending and so in order to make up for this difference, they're saying that essentially why don't you just pull out this equity out of your home, get this now into cash and then you can keep spending this cash which will allow you to keep spending your money and living your lifestyle as opposed to cutting back on your lifestyle, because if you're cutting back on your lifestyle, well, that means that's less spending, less spending leads to a slowdown in the economy. A slowdown in the economy would lead to a potential recession, which is why now you're seeing banks get more and more creative. However, you also have to understand that we're seeing different changes happen in the economy because in September of 2023, we saw the last of the pandemic era kind of stimulus or bonus programs end which was the student loan program. Because starting in October, now Americans will be required to make their student loan payments again. Although there is a little bit of, I don't want to call it a grace period because it's not a grace period because everyone's interest is now accruing on their student loan payments, which is why if you have student loans, please go and check that ASAP because your interest is now accruing. Even though you have a lot of people on the internet saying that you have time to start making your payments again, your interest is accruing, which means that now a lot of Americans got hit with a brand new expense. And if you're hit with a brand new expense, that means now you have to make the decision of, can I afford this expense along with everything else in my lifestyle? And if not, what do you do? Are you gonna cut back on your spending? Or are you gonna be able to afford it here with your money? Or are you gonna have to dig into it with your credit? So. When you are painting a picture of what's going on in the economy, it's important for you to take a holistic picture. And in this holistic picture, you have to understand now how the economic system works. And you have to understand how spending works. And then you have to understand the spending trends because spending can only go up for so long. And if Americans are digging deeper and deeper into their cash, then they start digging deeper and deeper into their savings. And then they start digging deeper and deeper into the credit, eventually hit a breaking point. Sure, then you could turn into the home equity in your house but the problem then is what happens if home values fall and what happens if people can't keep paying off their mortgage payments you can start to see where that starts to pose bigger issues and this is where now it is very important for you to understand what's happening because in the beginning we talked about how the federal reserve bank has been working to increase interest rates in order to cool down demand well the federal reserve bank's fight is not over so there is a good chance that there could be even higher interest rates in the future. So if interest rates go even higher and they stay high for a long time, there's going to be impacts of that in the economy. That's going to impact people's incomes and that's going to impact people's ability.